Let's start off with prepping our face. This is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I'm going to just spray this all over my face. I love this stuff now, so I use it before and after I apply my makeup. Now to wipe away some of this excess oil, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. This is also one of my new favorites. Too Faced has some really good setting sprays and primers, so I'm just going to go ahead and smooth this all over my face. I'm oily everywhere, so I'm going to put it all over my face. Listen, babies, if y'all have really oily skin, don't get frustrated because we tend to age beautifully. So, love your oily skin. So, we're not done priming yet. Now, I'm going to use my Benefit Pore Professional. This is what I use to go ahead and fill in my pores. Since I do have larger pores on my cheeks, I am just going to apply this only in my cheek area to go ahead and kind of blur these large pores. Prepping your skin is really important because if your eyes look busted, but you got some flawless foundation, trust me, you can pull that look together. Now let's go ahead and work on these busted eyebrows. What I'm going to be using is my ColourPop Eyebrow Pencil in Black Brown. I use this in every last one of my videos, so if you watch me, you already know. I love this pencil because it's so easy to use. It grips the skin, it goes on and glides on so smooth and so easy. You really don't have to put in a lot of work to get some flawless eyebrows, so that's the reason why I love this pencil. Now to clean these eyebrows up, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso. Y'all already know the drill. This is my baby. This is my holy grail. She ain't going nowhere. She's here to stay. So this is what I'm going to use just to go ahead and clean up my eyebrows. And then I'm going to blend my eyebrows out. Well, blend the concealer out with a flat synthetic brush. Now going back in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso because I need my eyelids to be one uniform color. I have really dark eyelids and discoloration around my eyes. So we're going to go ahead and make this a smooth, even canvas because we're about to lay some really nice eyeshadows today. Remember, setting your concealer with a translucent setting powder is key. That way the base is silky smooth. That's going to allow your eyeshadows to glide on really, really easy. So. You want to work smarter, not harder. Now let's start laying some eyeshadows. I got this baby here. I finally broke down and got the Jaclyn Hill palette. The Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And this palette is just so amazing. I am so proud of her. Like, look at these colors. Look at this palette. So I wanted to go ahead and try something. Like, try a look with her palette. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start off with this color here. It looks like a kind of orangey creamish color you know i'm really bad with colors but i'm gonna use this as my transition color today so i'm just gonna go ahead and sweep this with a large fluffy brush brush and back and forth motions above my crease y'all i'm here for this palette so far because normally these type of colors look so ashy on me but you know they showing up pretty good just to start building up some warmth in the crease, I'm going to apply this color here, which is right next to the color I just applied. And I am going to use the same fluffy, fluffy brush and apply this into the crease. I'm just going to go ahead and build some colors up in the crease so that they start to look a little bit warmer. Now to give my crease a little more definition, I'm going to blend these two colors here together and apply this in the crease with a slightly denser brush. I still want this look to look really, really soft, so I'm going to go in with a soft hand and start blending these two colors in the crease. Now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in white. It's a highlighter concealer. That's what it's called, but I'm going to call it white, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and use this to pretty much cut the crease. So I'm going to apply this in like a half moon shape on my eye. Whenever you're cutting your crease, the brush that you want to use is always, always, always a flat synthetic brush. Make sure that you're using a synthetic brush to cut your crease. Trust me, it'll make your life so much easier. Now I'm going to go in with another bomb ass eyeshadow by JD Cosmetics. I follow them on Instagram. You definitely need to check them out. This color is called 365. Their swatches are just so freaking amazing. Look at this color. So this is going to be my lid color for today. It's just perfect. I've never seen any eyeshadow like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my eyelid with a regular eyeshadow brush. Now let's go ahead and quickly move on to foundation. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in the shade 12.0. Y'all know this is my favorite. This is my baby. I love it. 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face and I am in love with applying my foundation with brushes now so I'm gonna give my beauty blender you know a little break it can chill a little bit so I'm gonna use my brush to apply the foundation today now let's go into my new favorite concealer this is my new found baby this is the L'Oreal infallible pro glow concealer in cocoa and I just love to be cocoa anyway like why they had to make cocoa Y'all knew I was going to be in love with it. So I am going to use this as a highlighting concealer. So I'm going to apply this in my most inner parts of my face, which is underneath my eye, down the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead, the center of my chin, and um, around my mouth. Y'all know I wasn't going to let this beauty blender sponge like just not get used today. <laughs> it was going to get used some type of way. She will never neglect you again. Ever. Mama loves you. Let's start baking, baby. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to bake. This is the step where I marinate in this powder. So I'm just going to apply this powder everywhere I apply my Coco Concealer. Y'all know I love that name. Coco. I'm Coco. That should be my like alter ego, Coco. So let's work on finishing up the eyes while I bake, while I marinate in this powder. I'm going to be using Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Hustle Baby. So I'm going to be using this side right here. This is going to be going on the inner corner of my eye just to make my eyes pop and give me a little bit of... I know my eyelids are already glowing, but I want to glow a little bit more. So I'm going to be using two liners today. I'm going to use my NYC Liquid Eyeliner in black, and then I'm also going to use my NYX Vivid Bright Liner in Vivid Halo. So I'm going to use these two colors today. First, I'm just going to go ahead and outline my lash line with my black NYC liner because I just want my lash line to be full so whenever you use black it makes your lashes look a little bit fuller so I also want something that's going to allow my lashes to you know blend into so I'm going to use the black first and then I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX Vivid Liner and I'm going to do a wing with the yellow liner. Now I'm going to take my new favorite powder, which is the CoverGirl Medium Deep Powder. And I'm going to put this in all the areas where I don't have any setting powder, just to go ahead and set my foundation. And then after that, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off my setting powder. Now let's do some really good contouring today. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW58. And I am going to use this to kind of bring my cheekbones forward. So I'm going to put this underneath my cheekbones, around my forehead, down the sides of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. I'm trying to give my little chubby face some shape. To stay true to the yellow, I am going to use a MAC blush today. And I'm going to be using... This one right here, which is MAC Peaches Blush, and I'm going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. This is going to give me a really soft blush look. So for highlight today, I'm going to be using this beautiful baby here, which is by JD Glow Cosmetics. This is the Pressed Highlighter in Pure Bliss. It's so freaking gorgeous. I love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight with it. It's the first time I'm going to be using it, yeah. so we'll see how this goes. Oh my god. It's so pigmented. I gotta switch my brush up a little bit. And I'm gonna use my finger. Oh my god. This is so freaking pretty. So for my lips today, I'm gonna be using MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. And then I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Dread Matte Lipstick. It looks like this. Because I'm so glowy, I got to gloss it up a little bit. So I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Warm Bronze. 